All right, so <clears throat> I don't know why every time I do uh, every time I do an overhead, I have to redo it 15 times. But uh, <clears throat> I was just looking it over yesterday, and the, some of the injectors were way off, and some of the rockers were way off, and you know, I don't know. I need to uh, I need to get a gander at that and. Uh, I really need to build a, a front mount for these motors that'll keep the engine from turning over. When I say turning over, I mean flipping over. But we'll get the, we're gonna run the valves and then we're going to, uh, then we're gonna see about starting this thing back up. Seeing uh, what's what. Let me grab. Uh, let me grab a sheet and uh, get a look and see where we're at. It's totally possible uh, and you know if I have to I have to it's not a huge deal the guy just takes that uh, accessory drive pulley off and and uh, and uh, and then uh, Takes that balancer off the bottom, that engine mount, and then he uh, takes all them bolts off, takes that cover off, takes the air compressor back off, and uh, cam followers, uh, push rods, and all that out, and then. Um, Pull a camshaft out, slide a camshaft in, time it, throw that stuff back together, and bing bang boom bob your uncle. And I may end up doing that. It's weird. Definitely has a cylinder misfire, but the camshaft doesn't sound 
bad at all, actually. Uh, doesn't seem like it's running retarded or anything. Uh, we don't want to run it too long. We don't, any, uh, we don't have any water connected. Uh, definitely has a cylinder that's not fired. So what we could do, we have that injector is, this injector is not working. Um, I can fix that. What we'll do is we'll, we'll adjust that injector again. And then we'll see if that cylinder picks up. So this, this injector is not functioning properly. Not sure why. Seems like seems like that's bad, but uh, we may have the wrong size push rod for these injectors. Let's give it a pair of pliers for that uh, I could, that's plenty of oil pressure and it sounds good and if if that cylinder would cooperate bang, bang, boom, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's long enough with no cooling system. Uh, this, these two are oiling very well. This is not oiling, and uh, I'm not really sure why. This one, one uh, push tube back here is just oil is just flowing out, and uh, so this could have a bad rocker arm. Um, I don't know why so much oil is getting away right here. But 
yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to, uh, yeah, I was hoping I was going to gain that cylinder. Let me get my thermometer. because the cylinder is about to come together. I think that's super weird. That's also why the, uh, the, uh, it's also why the, uh, well, it's not going, I think. Oh, that pusher tube is bent like you've never seen before. I think it's because that bottomed out. And I think that's the same one that broke. There we go. I think that's the same one that broke before. And so Don't know. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to change this injector. I know that this isn't really what, what I should do, but it is what I'm going to do. And uh, since it broke that before, uh, I need an extension. I'm sweating like a pig. I got a piece of wire in my shoe. My shoe! And uh, it's uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> but I'm going to change this injector real quick. Re rig this push rod. Hopefully, nothing else is broken there. We didn't break a, a valve or anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the magnet. And I'll also use the magnet to put them back in. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to get that injector out yet. But, uh, i got to get a little pry bar. Probably a little... Uh, they weren't new, but they were... Uh, better than, hmm. yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Get that. Uh, I'll be back. Maybe in there. like it.
All right. I don't know what's going to happen. Right bend that again. So I think this push rod's bent. Cylinder's working now. But I think this one over here is bent. And I think they're all gonna bend. Because I think I have something wrong. All right, so I think what's got to happen is I got to get uh, six new injectors, six new push rods to change the camshaft. I don't know 
why else that would have bent the the injector push rods uh, yeah it's not good though not good though so let's get the uh let's get this back apart take these batteries off get this fuel line unplumbed and uh Yeah, unfortunate, but I can't spend two weeks messing with this motor. I think I'm going to pick that motor up and move it over here. <clears throat> ridiculous you know just don't know what to do I'm throwing a bunch of parts at it bending a bunch of shit that shouldn't be bending alright guys <clears throat> so All right, <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, we've been testing the durability of our push tubes and uh, well, they're not very durable. So uh, <laughs> I've, everybody told me I couldn't use the camshaft that came in this motor, uh, but nobody would tell me or could tell me why. So I was being bullheaded and trying to get her done. And well, we've been some push tubes. We might have damaged some other stuff. So we're going to we get this engine blocked up in the front and we'll get this front cover off we'll get the camshaft out slap a new cam in there and uh then stick it all back together and see what happens i'm gonna move this engine out of the way and uh clean up out here and then uh we'll get this blocked up and that all apart today we'll get it covered up for the night but i'm going to uh i'm just gonna have to get the cam out put the cam from the other motor in it and uh, reset all the valves and hope I didn't bend anything that's too important. And uh, yeah, we'll get our stuff back together and bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle. Uh, this thing should run mint. Uh, we did. I am happy with the oil pressure. The engine seems to start nice. Even with the injectors, push tubes being all bent to hell. We're probably going to grab uh, six new injectors as well. They're pretty cheap. So we'll see about getting a set of those ordered. We already got the gaskets we need. My wrench should be here for the air compressor tomorrow uh, so today I'd like to just get the cover get it blocked up get the cover off get the camshaft uh, uh, timing looked at and see what's what and uh, then get it covered up so let's get after it Wow. Okay, so I put it on a, not really sure where it's supposed to be, but we're gonna try not to turn the engine over at all. We're gonna take this off, take that off, take that bottom mount off, take this belt off, take all those cover bolts off, take that cover off, and uh, get a look at that camshaft. Now, this motor is a uh, CPL 1211.
for all you doubting Thomases out there. Be a puller involved in that. There's a uh, wretch here somewhere. <clears throat> well, it's way wrong size. Right back. All right. Ain't that crazy? Wow. <clears throat> we'll have to get some of these uh, bolts down on the oil pan and get this out of there. That's why it's leaking. Crazy, right? Okay. So. All right. So I got my trusty. A little stool. Okay. And this, I think, needs to pull off. Uh, yeah, so we put a puller in there, get that off. Yeah, that takes a puller. Let me see what I got. Oh boy, that's broke from the wreck. That's awesome. Good thing I have another one of those, huh? Wow, who would have thought that was busted in there? You know what? That's uh, that's why the timing is off. 
because that thing had turned on there. Yep. Hmm. Well, needs to be taken apart anyway, so what do we got? It's crazy what you find, you know. I was just going to run that engine. So glad I didn't at this point. Wow. Crazy. So I don't think the cam needs to be changed. Crazy. You still going? With this being broke off, and this turned advanced a bit, I think the cam timing could have just been off. And that could have been what the problem was, but since I'm going to have it down anyways, I'm just going to change the cam. Because I'm not going to take any chances. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to take any chances. I'm going to get it off of there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to get it off. I'm going to take the air compressor back off. I'm going to change cams. Even though I think it's a mistake. Uh, Now this is the camshaft, and uh, we can look and see if this number is different. It looks like it's uh, ATS 305-8957. So if you've never been under the timing cover, this is what you got here. It's, uh, this is your um, accessory drive. This is where your pulley goes. It has your A, B, C markings. And uh, this is supposed to be the keyway. And uh, as you can see, that thing is mushed over because this thing had an abrupt stop, I think, in its day. So we do need to change either change this whole accessory drive, which probably doesn't need to be changed but we probably will anyways we'll take the air compressor off the accessory drive that frees us up to do the cam followers we'll take those off and we'll run this camshaft out we'll make some marks of where this thing is actually right now uh, we'll probably put it on the timing marks because that's easier so we got a timing mark here and we got a timing mark here and then we got a timing mark uh, here and then uh, I imagine this one goes is going to be in here, and then this one 
is going to end up timing with uh, this one down here. And so we'll put that into, into perspective. And then we'll get the air compressor off, which I don't have my wrench. The reason I don't want to take this off is because it takes like six hours. You don't have the proper wrench, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'll take this tube off and this tube off, and then I'll get that bolt out. And I'll take that accessory drive off. Um, and I'll get the accessory drive out of that motor and put it in this motor. Uh, and I'll, while well, I have that off, I'll pop off the rockers, the cam covers down there. And they're right, right there. We'll take those off. Now those are shimmed for proper spacing. We're just going to leave the shims on it that are on it. Hopefully not destroy the gaskets. We'll pull this camshaft out, slap the new camshaft in on the timing mark. Uh, put the accessory drive in. Put the cam, uh, put the rocker followers on. Uh, hopefully we don't kill the gaskets. We'll scrape this gasket off. We'll clean these holes out. We'll uh, put the new cover, the old cover from the other motor on. And uh, we'll order a new front seal. We'll, we'll clean this up good while it's off. We'll, uh, I think this motor is going to be a good motor though. Uh, worst case scenario is I spent about two weeks dicking with it now this is something funny this is a piece of fan shroud and this was wedged between the oil pan and the uh, front pulley it's strange but uh that's why it was leaking oil even though I had a new pan gasket uh, so that's cool but anyhow let's get after it So So we're going to leave the, we're going to get the camshaft out, zero to the zero, and two pointed to three o'clock. Would have thought that would have rolled out of there a lot easier, but it's all right. That's interesting. Well, not good, guys. This just came to a screeching halt. Uh, tied up a cam bearing. Damn it, man. That's a lot of work to come up with, but if you see that journal right there, that's a cam bearing stuck on there. And it's probably out of. Cam bearing came out of that hole. Wow, and that's stuck on the cam. Chances are there's no getting that out. 
So I think at this point, uh, this is junk. So this engine will end up being tore down and, uh, Yep, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yep. Now I could, if I could cut that off, I could get new cam bearings put in, but I don't know why the cam bearing spun in the first place. And so, uh, chances are, it looks like it's turned quite a few times in there. And so the bore is probably bad in the, in the block man that sucks guys man dead stop yeah unfortunate wow super disappointing and I don't think I can get that cam bearing off so that you can see what I mean um, wow. So what happens is that the camshaft gets lack of lack of lubrication, and uh, as she digs a trench, um, she superheats that bearing, and that bearing welds to it. And then it turns the bearing in the in the bore, and so uh, game over, guys. Game over. Unfortunate. Money and time wasted. Well, shoot, dang it. And if these bearings look that bad, the mains look that bad. Uh, I could, I could take the cam bearings out, put all new cam bearings in. This motor had a lot of miles on it, even though I didn't think it did. You can tell. Uh, Unfortunate guys, really unfortunate.
pain in the ass right here. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Should I throw cam bearings in it? <laughs> oh boy. Ouch. Well, there you go, guys. Spun camshaft bearing. Probably at the end of the project. Or is it? Hmm. Stay tuned. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see ya.